thought you kids would turn up again. You just don't know when to quit! You're V, aren't you? So he was waiting for us. <laughs> so you're those terrorists, huh? Seems like you've known we were here for quite a while now. Oh! We weren't really counting on the Provincial Army's blockade to hold up. If the RMP manages to get through, we're ready to lay them out. In fact, I was counting on it. But me and my crew will be more than enough to bury you here. We'll see about that. Don't underestimate him. He's even stronger than he looks. We were able to beat him back at Guerrilla Fortress because Instructor Nightheart was with us. But if he hadn't been there... Now I remember. Are you a survivor of the Arngarm Jaeger Corps? <laughs> Surprised you heard of it, Sylphide. It was long gone by the time you started making a name for yourself. I heard about it from the boss. He mentioned he'd faced you guys on the battlefield a few times. Said you were worthy opponents. <laughs> I'm honored that the Jaeger King himself would tip his hat to us. It's a little late, but you've got my condolences. He was one hell of a man. Thanks. What are you guys trying to do here? Even if you are cooperating with the Noble Faction, it's not like you both share the same ideals. And if anything were to happen to this mine, the whole country would be in trouble. <laughs> we know. But I'll do whatever it takes to slaughter that iron-blooded shit stain and let him twist in the wind! Uh, but why? Why do you hate Chancellor Osborne so much? Kid, I could give you my life story, but I doubt you'd understand even that. You have no idea how many have been driven from their homes thanks to his reforms. How many folks have lost everything they had because of him? Well... Victims of the Chancellor's expansionist policies, huh? Well... We ain't all pressed from a mold. We got different reasons for being here. Gideon hated him for his ideology. And Scarlet, I heard she lost her old hometown when he went and built a railway through it. So that's it. So that's what drove her to terrorism. Me? Let's just say I've got a misplaced grudge against the guy. Not that I've got any intention of repenting for it now. Like Sylphid said, I ran with a corps called Arngarm. Led it, actually. Just a medium-sized outfit. Nothing too grand. We took decent-sized jobs, did them well, and pulled in solid business. That was life for us. Sure, we might have gotten a little too fired up when we were facing down dangerous enemies. But it wasn't all rough going. Whenever we had a bunch of new folks join up, We'd take one easy job after another. I thought that was just going to be another one of those laid-back missions. Back when Osborne got his seat as the Chancellor, the noble faction hired us to give him a little scare. That was all. He was a commoner who came up through the military, chosen by the Emperor. Guess they just wanted to show him who was boss. But he saw right through their plan. Can't really call what happened to fight. It's more like a massacre. They didn't even give us a chance to surrender. Just gunned us all down in cold blood. Young boys who've just been with us for a couple weeks. Women. Everyone. I was all that was left. Surrounded on every side by my comrades' bodies. I was the only one to come crawling back out of that hell.
I wandered a while. Didn't know what to do with myself. Eventually, I ended up finding my way to the Imperial Liberation Front. No high ideals here. I just wanted to kill him. To gut that son of a bitch. Avenge my friends. And tear apart everything he spent his life trying so hard to build. So that's what happened to Arngarm. It's a sad story for sure. Look, I can sympathize with what you went through. But that doesn't mean the Chancellor was wrong in doing what he did. Yeah, it sounds kind of heartless to say, but... I'll say it. Terrorists need to be handled with an iron fist. Their fate should discourage others from following their lead. <laughs> you ain't strained for mercy, are you? Can't deny what you're saying, though. But this ain't about who's right and wrong. Maybe it never was. That bastard loves to fuel the flames of progress. One way or another, we've all been burned. What's left for sad sacks like us? I'll tell you what. We'll fan our own flames. Make them so big and so wild, they'll burn up even blood and iron. Now then, you came all this way. Might as well show me what you got. Just remember, you're the ones who keep jumping into the fire. Don't blame me when all that's left are ashes. Here he comes. Everyone, brace yourselves. We're counting on you, Angelica. Sure thing. Let's do this. <laughs> Better to burn out than fade away. Here we go. Turn 
I'll take care of this. Time barrier. Right. My turn. All right. Let's do this. Huh. How about now? Right. Hang in there. Appreciate it. Here we go. Not bad! Looks like I don't have to hold back! Huh! How about... Now! I can do this! Light! Rain upon us! Right! Lock him to get away! Here we go! Time to shine. How about... Go for it! Let's get this party started! Got it! Understood! It's my turn! Shine. Go for it. Right. 
Take that! This will soften you up! No one! Here we go! It's my turn! How about now? Go! Go! Be full of holes when I'm done! Nice try. Must have let my guard down! Sweet dreams, pussycats. <laughs> That's about right. Nicely done. Uh, they're strong. I can't believe we got pushed back by a bunch of students. Uh, you kids hit harder than I expected. This fight is over. Release the miners! <laughs> that was always part of the plan. But I don't like your attitude. You don't get to call the shots here. What? No way! How are they still standing? That's one mean vibe I'm getting from him. Even among Jaegers, only the strongest warriors give off an aura like that. Do not despair, comrade. This simply goes to show how much they've grown since our first meeting. See! So this is the guy, huh? This is the first time I've actually seen him. Comrade S has already ordered the warship. I shall buy you the time to join her. <laughs> Fine. Chalk this one up as my loss. But next time... Oh, next time, we'll have some real fun! Sorry, Comrade C. We'll wait up for you. Last time. He doesn't let his guard down even for a second. But why the mask? Who are you, anyway? All the other ringleaders show their faces without a care in the world, but not you. Why is that? <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid I'm the shy sort. Or are you so enamored of the mask that you intend to take it from me by force? It would be quite a coup, especially for the daughter of Marquis Ragnar. <clears throat> Don't let your focus waver. If we want to walk away from this, we can't let up, even for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning on letting up. There's no way he can take all of us at once! Agreed. Even Instructor Sarah couldn't pull off a feat like that. Hmm. The odds do seem stacked against me. So I hope you'll permit me to even them ever so slightly. <gasps> what? Two archaisms! Were they there all along? when we last crossed blades in the time war. Do you think you can prevail now where before you fell short? Tell me what those words. The steel! Shut 
Show me your strength. Your will. Go! All right. Let's do this. I'm in. Oh. Oh. Leave it to me. Marcus, activate! Yes. Let's go! I won't go! <laughs> it's my turn! Got it? I'll try at least. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. I've got it! My turn! There! I'm in. How about the hook? Now! Go! It's my turn! Would you mind? We'll do. Here. My turn. How about this? How about now? Got it. My turn. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. Okay. <laughs> My turn. I'm in. How about now? Go. I'll handle it. Good luck. I'll take care of this. Can you handle this? I'll handle this. Marcus, activate. Huh? Leave it to me. Time barrier. Right. Here we go. Burn to hell. Let's go, everyone. I'll Leave handle it to me. me. I'm in. Now! It's my turn! Oh no, you don't! Leave it to me! Lock it and work it away! Go! Burn to end! I'm in! It's my turn. Let's go. Ha! Leave it. 
to me. Locked in with working away. Oh no, you don't. My turn. There. Time to shine. How about I can do this. Here we go. It's my turn.
chime in. Take care of this. Time barrier. Right. Time to shine. How about go for it? Go. Right. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. That's a chance. Eat it. My turn. Time to shine. Now! It's over! Perhaps I underestimated you. Well fought, Angelica. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> That's about right. An A-plus outcome. Nicely done. Done. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Most impressive. <sighs> How do you like that? Just paying back what we owe from the summer festival. Now hurry up and release the miners. The miners are being held in the area above us. They've been bound, but their lives are in no danger. Are you telling the truth? That does match what the other guy said. Well then, with that cleared up, let's talk about you, shall we? I hope you're not thinking you're just gonna walk out of here after everything you've done. <laughs> I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm thinking. Watch out! It's a feint! <gasps> Damn it! Too late. Ah! Ah! Help us! Don't 
Don't freak out. It's just to disorient us. Shit. Flash grenades. Where did he go? He's gone. <sighs> How could we have dropped the ball like that? We had him right there. Did he go to rejoin the others? <sighs> that doesn't add up. It feels like he headed downward somehow. But I can't even see the bottom of that shaft, so where... What's that sound? That's the airship we saw at Gorelia Fortress. Looks like Reinford's high-speed RF-26 model. So the Liberation Front has expensive taste in airships. What is going on here? It's the terrorists. Take aim and fire. Yes, yes ma'am. You have no right to open fire here. Men, stop them at once. Yes, yes sir. sir. What do you think you're doing? My mom. What a pathetic spectacle. And the Chancellor has sent his loyal lapdog to bark us up a tree, too. Go on and scurry back to your master, Icy Maiden, and tell him this. Our preparations are complete. Next time we strike, he shall be the one in the crosshairs. <gasps> Getting away! Tailed! Farewell, for now. You failed. But at least you can say you tried. And to you students, the next time our paths cross, you... What's that? It couldn't be. Oh! Everyone hit the deck! Oh! What the hell? What just happened? Did it self-destruct? I can't see it. They don't seem the type for wanton self-sacrifice. Did one of the RMP's bullets find its mark? I don't know what caused it, but by the looks of that explosion, I'm guessing we won't find any survivors in the wreckage. Uh... Oh, what is the meaning of this? Terrorists or not, that doesn't excuse shooting down their airship without even offering a chance to surrender! Please, calm down. There's no evidence to suggest the explosion was caused by our gunfire. In fact, given the magnitude of the blast, I suspect that some sort of explosive was planted on the airship. Right now, let's prioritize rescuing the miners, then begin a full investigation into exactly what happened here. You have the nerve to suggest... We have written permission from His Majesty the Emperor himself. Or are you telling me you intend to ignore that and hound us every step of the way? Ugh, don't get all full of yourself just because of one little sheet of paper. A and who the hell are you meddling kids? Are you students? What business do you have on restricted property? Whatever excuse you have better be nothing short of brilliant, or you're in for a world of trouble! Well, crap. We're in the hot seat now. Are you kidding me? Listen, you're misunderstanding something. They're here because I asked them to accompany me. Angelica? And who the hell are you? L L L L L L L Lady Angelica? 
Hey, it's Lady Angelica. I heard she was back, but this isn't really the place you expect to meet a Marquis's daughter. Ha, huh. long time no see, guys. Oh, I see a couple of faces I recognize under those fancy helmets. Maybe I should have tried the front entrance first, after all. It would have given me an easy chance to ask some of the pressing questions I've got about this whole affair. Like, you know... Why you let terrorists have the run of the place, while barring entry to law enforcement officials, maybe? Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. R remain calm! We were acting under the direct orders of the Marquis himself. He expressly commanded us not to let these insolent fools trespass in his territory! Oh? Well, the Marquis must be quite the sly businessman. To acquire ownership of a mine I wasn't aware we were selling. What? I recognize that voice. How could he be... Prince Olivert! Nice timing. Crow! George! Thank goodness you're alright. Yeah, glad to see you guys are safe too. I heard things took a wild turn. You can say that again. I sure wouldn't have get... So that's the last of the terrorist airships accounted for, then? All that we know of, at any rate. We'll need a more detailed examination of the wreckage to say for sure. Hmm... It's truly an honor to receive a visit from you, your highness. That's enough out of you. We have more important matters to attend to right now. First, I feel it necessary to emphasize that I personally stand behind these students' course of action. I trust you have no objections? N none at all, Your Highness. Oh, Your Highness. We're saved. Secondly, I'll be assuming command here as a representative of the Arner family, owners of this mine. And as my first directive, I demand that the provincial army depart at once. The railway military police will remain on the scene under my command to assist with my investigation. Yes, Your Highness. Y y yes Your Highness! You heard the Prince! We're moving out! After all the peril, the situation was resolved with surprising speed. The Railway Military Police fulfilled their duties under the command of Prince Olivert. The remaining archaisms were disposed of, and the miners were rescued without significant injury. But the implications of what had just happened were profound, and the news was likely already beginning to spread. It was obvious that the provincial army had given their tacit approval to the terrorists' actions. And the terrorists had destroyed all evidence that the noble faction had been dumping iron onto the black market. But even lacking concrete evidence, their guilt seemed clear. And Prince Oliver declared he'd be conducting a thorough investigation with the full support of Chairman Irina. must be it. No Maker's trademark. No proprietary parts I could use to identify it. Not that I expected to find any. 
From all appearances, it seems to be a long-range anti-material sniper rifle. I see. At least it wasn't a Reinford model. That's correct. I suspect this is yet another of that workshop's products. <laughs> Their handicrafts do seem to be in vogue these days, especially with the Red Constellation. Indeed, but this is no laughing matter. And while I have you here, Miss Kruger, I've been hoping for the opportunity to have a little chat with you for quite some time now. Exactly how much involvement does your employer have in all of this? <laughs> Might I ask to which of them you're referring? <laughs> Let's go with both of them. My apologies. It seems we didn't clear this area as thoroughly as I thought. It's an honor to see the famous Icy Maiden in action. You're quite the sight yourself. I see now why they call you the Severing Chains. <laughs> it was nothing. But to answer your earlier question, Chairman Arena has no involvement whatsoever. That said, I'm certain she'll leverage the current goings-on to her advantage as much as she's able. I'd expect no less. As for the other, I expect they're simply playing around. At least for now. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me, someday! Perfect! You guys are the best! In the following weeks, it was hard to tell how much the Empire's situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. With the death of their ringleaders, the Imperial Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and at Corellia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Valflame Palace. There, we were granted the honor of an audience with His Majesty the Emperor, Eugen III. Along with Empress Priscilla, the mother of Princess Alfin and Crown Prince Cedric. But no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation. The heads of the four great houses who rule their vast provinces with absolute authority and the Chancellor and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. As it stood, the terrorists' defeat made it difficult for their supposed supporters in the noble faction to act openly while Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. With both sides tied up, it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. We'd finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out. 
and Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs, a duet between Machias and Eusis, and a solo by Emma. To no one's surprise, all three of them were quick to raise objections. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices, and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. Unfortunately, with the good times came some sad news as well. It turned out that Marquis Rodner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine, and as a result, she was forced to leave the academy. Contrary to the official statement, her withdrawal was to be permanent. Before she left, she asked me if I'd look after the Orbal bike for her. At first, I didn't want to. It felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. It proved to be quite an eventful trip, and it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. Anyway, 